What's up guys, this week I'm doing part one of the two-part router build series. In this video I'm doing everything you see here, the whole base, skeleton, cabinet, and everything like that that you see. So you can download all the plans and all that good stuff, a SketchUp plan of this, the shopping list, the cutting list, that's all in the description below, 100% free. So check that out, and this is all done, just under $110. So let's go ahead and go in the shop and start working on this. When I design my projects, I design them to fit in a smaller car so that I can take this wood home because otherwise my car wouldn't be able to fit it. So I got a 4 foot by 8 foot sheet of plywood that's 3 quarters of an inch thick and I just had them cut it into 4 sections that are 2 feet by 4 feet long so I'll have a total of 4 of these 2 foot by 4 foot pieces when I'm all said and done. And then over here, I got this melamine because it's going to be really slick and good for the top of my router table. And I want the wood to slide right across it, and melamine's going to be great for that. And it's also going to be really good for seeing on camera as well. So I got a 2 foot by 4 foot sheet, and I got another 2 foot by 4 foot sheet. And this was actually 2 foot by 8 feet in the store, but I had to cut it in half. And the thing about this is, it's made for like shelving or something. You can buy a big 4 foot by 8 foot sheet, but I didn't need all that. So this is made for shelving, so it's actually only 23 and 3 quarters of an inch. But, I mean, my router table called for 2 foot by 4 foot, but a quarter inch off, I can just make it a little bit shorter on the top, and I should be fine. And then, if you're buying an aftermarket router insert plate, then that's all you'll need. You'll just need this melamine, but since I'm not buying one, I'm going to try to make my own. So I got this 2 foot by 4 foot sheet of whiteboard material, and you're only going to need 4 2 by 4s that are 8 feet long. Two handles, I just got black, it really doesn't matter what color, and typically they'll come with the screws that attaches them to the wood. A total of 4 hinges, each of these packs have 2 in them, so 2 plus 2 is 4, and these also come with all the screws needed to attach them to the wood. Four quarter inch bolts that are two and a half inches long, four wing nuts that are made for the quarter inch bolts, and eight quarter inch washers. Two five sixteenth inch bolts that are four inches long, you'll need four washers that are five sixteenths inches, and you'll need two wing nuts that will fit the 5 16 inch bolts as well. And you're going to need some 3 inch screws and some 1 and 5 8 inch screws as well. Anything that I miss will be in the description below, so check there for a 100% accurate shopping list. So I'm going to start by cutting my 2x4s and I always like to double check and make sure my miter box is all squared up and it is, so now I can go ahead and start chopping up these 2x4s.
right guys, so here I have majority of it done. All I have to do now is build that cabinet for the bottom and I'll be all done for the skeleton of this thing. But check this out, I got four screws in each piece over here and this is my screw box. So I had just enough screws to put it all together. So sometimes you get lucky. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and work on that cabinet. show it because it's kind of boring to watch. Well guys, that's it for part one of the two-part router build series. You can download the plans for this in the description below and you can get all the free cutting guides and all that for all the parts. All It's all in the description below. So check that out if you want to build one. Next week I will be adding the top of this. I will be adding the fence and I will be adding the router and that will hopefully finish off the table. One other thing I would highly recommend is adding some rare earth magnets on these doors because when you just leave them like this, they'll slowly open up if it's on any angle at all. So um, that's it for part one. I will see you guys next week with part two. And until then, have a great week. Subscribe, like this if you found it helpful, and uh, hopefully you guys can make your own. Oh,